Wooden rubber boots and the life jackets are mandatory. Head to Bull Seal Point, which is this beautiful long beach. And tomorrow we'll have some red flags marking the area where you can free roam. And you can, you will see this rock. And it is a little bird cliff. And there you'll find all these birds nesting. This is how the bird looks, and Lancey assured me this is the holy grail for birders. I already mentioned tonight that I like chicken. Good morning. As you can see, we're approaching St. Matthew Island, way out there in the Bering Sea. I think the captain said that we are more than 300 miles from to the east, and to the west, between the closest land. That's called Elfin Rock. Correction, <coughs> correction, that was Hall Island that we passed with the Elfin Rock. Now we are coming to St. Matthew, the remote place in Alaska. In a given year, more people summit Denali, the highest point in North America, than visit SMI. I am the last group, the polar bears today, so let's hope the weather stays good. Here we go, again. So you have to disinfect your boots. Up and that's like boot washing when you come back. With us yeah. No. Will be the hardest Here they can load trip. two Whoa. at one time. So, their expedition, uh, cruise ship. so it was such a Those are the poles over there, and they asked us to keep our life vests on. Just want to show you. Oh, it's a carol. I love this. The white bird before is the bunting, the rare bunting that we get to see here. Okay, I'm done. I set foot on St. Matthew's Island, where nobody lives. All the driftwood. We are not supposed to pick up any stones, nothing. In the same family, they are related. I have no idea what I'm getting here. Handy dandy boat washing. 